The Southern Ranges are a series of high ridges close to the coast in southwest Tasmania. The range extends from Ida Bay through to Precipitous Bluff, known by generations of bushwalkers simply as PB. This mighty mountain rises out of the sea to tower over New River Lagoon. When I first walked the South Coast track back in 2021 and gazed upon this beauty, I knew that one day soon I would climb it. This is my story. Southern range, baby. Let's go. We made it to the Hobbit's Garden. Such a beautiful section of track. There's mini pandanis, scaparia, and pineapple grass. It's just amazing through here. Right, we're not far from camp now. Just gotta go over hill four and then down to Pigsty Ponds. Uh, all the peaks are being surrounded by cloud now, so should be good to get down to camp. It's been a long day. What a big day. Exhausting. But glad to be at camp. Strive vegetable curry laksa. Yum. Yum. Pretty damn good. Morning. Woke up to a beautiful day out on the range, sunshine, blue skies. Um, today we're going to go climb Mount La Perouse and then head on to Pinder's Peak and hopefully camp at Pandani Knobs. So if all goes well, uh, we'll be there probably mid-afternoon I reckon. So yeah, should be a good day. Gonna be really sweaty in this heat, but blue skies, fantastic. Thank you. 
how incredible are those views all the way out to precipitous bluff our target over the next couple of days just absolutely stunning such a beautiful and remote landscape out here So there's a video on YouTube of a man playing the saxophone up here. I just can't imagine the amount of effort it would have taken to carry a saxophone all the way out here. Ugh. So yeah, that's the first Able of the Southern Ranges done. Mount La Perouse. Four more to go. Uh, next on the target is Pinder's Peak, which I will be aiming to hit this afternoon. All right, better get a move on, I think. Get down this mountain. All right, we just finished a climb up onto Maxwell's Ridge, and wow. Look at Pinder's Peak, all the way across to Mount Wiley, Victoria Cross, PB in the background. This place, couldn't have asked for a better day to be honest, just beautiful. Alright, just on our way up to Pinder's Peak now. Tell you what, it looks really intimidating from here. Major cliffs, and pretty much got to take the pack up almost all the way to the top before we sit all along and then back down. But wow, what a beauty. Can't wait to be on top of that. Pinder's Peak, here we come. And that's the summit of Pinder's Peak. Just standing at the top of Pinder's Peak on an absolutely immaculate day. I've never seen such an incredible viewpoint in my life. Southwest Tassie, you're delivering again.
Right, so we made it to Pandani Knob after about 10 hours on the range. Hard walking, I'll tell you that, but this has got to be probably the nicest campsite on the range, I reckon. Beautiful views, and I should catch an absolutely incredible sunset tonight. The only pity here is there's no water, so you have to carry it in. Now, some of you might be wondering why I would do such a long and difficult hike solo. The simple truth is, is that I like the challenge of it, both the physical and mental challenge of hiking alone. You know, I think sometimes it's just good to be self-reliant, completely on your own experience and abilities. This stuff's bloody good. Love it. Tailwind. Alright, sunset's done. I'm buggered, so I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning. The weather's a bit wilder today. Got a long day of scrub bashing ahead of us as we enter the thick scrub of the southern ranges. Um, just heading to Wiley Plateau today. Uh, hopefully climb Mount, Mount Wiley and Mount Victoria Cross this afternoon, so. That's the plan. In the overhead scrub, and there's some really nice sections of forest through here. And that's the summit of Mount Wiley, able number three for the Southern Rangers. Oh, just another fabulous day on top of Wiley. Man, this place. And that there is the summit of Mount Victoria Cross, fourth able of the Southern Ranges. Bloody awesome. How good are the views of PB behind us? That's our target for tomorrow. But wow, we are so lucky with this weather. morning another beautiful day in the southern ranges anyway we've got a long walk to pb today um and yeah we're going to camp up on top tonight so should be the highlight of the trip and to you all let's welcome in the new year today's the first day of 2023 
Day four and yeah, we're just starting and we're back into the scrub on this steep descent. So we've got a long way to PB today. About six or seven hours they, they estimate. So um, if it's like this most of the way, scrubby, it's gonna be pretty slow going. up on Kamaruka Moraine and yeah this is gonna be my least favorite part of the hike so far it's just it's hot scrubby bouldery progress is really slow and yeah I'm just not enjoying it through here at all We've made it up to PB High Camp. What a mission it was getting here, but what a bloody accomplishment. This is so awesome. And yeah, gonna have some lunch and then we'll head up to the summit. And that's the summit of Precipitous Bluff. Wow. How immaculate is that? It's been a long time coming. And what a way to be up here on the first day of 2023. All right, here we go. First of the first, 2023, Aaron Gray. Solar Traverse of the Southern Range. What a way to start the new year. Brilliant location. Find me on YouTube, Aaron Gray Outdoors. Man, PB, what a majestic experience. This range traverse has been such a difficult track, but so enjoyable at the same time. Uh, we've had the best weather ever, like four days of blue skies. That's just unheard of in Southwest Tassie. So truly blessed. Uh, got a long descent down to the bottom of the lagoon tomorrow. That should be fun. And then we're gonna walk out via the South Coast track. Back at camp now, so buggered. The last four days have really taken its toll. Um, ran out of tailwind. So I've got no more electrolytes for the rest of the trip, which is really disappointing. But um, so I'm just gonna have to drink my water. Is insane. 
we'll be descending down into the fog soon so yeah crazy blue skies up on pb and fog all below pretty awesome Finally made it to the uh, descent spur down PB. Uh, it's going to be a steep down climb. Now as we're entering limestone uh, territory and there's sinkholes, it's pretty important that you stay on the track. Uh, luckily for me it's been recently taped, so it shouldn't be too much of a trouble following all the way down. And that's the end of the Southern Ranges, back on the South Coast track. All in all, the Southern Ranges was an incredible experience. I ended up walking 96 kilometers over seven days, and that included 5,000 meters of ascent. If you enjoy my content, then please be sure to like and subscribe, and I might see you out on the trail.